today we are troubleshooting a SMA Sunny Boy. It is a SB3000TL-US22. It is periodically giving us an arc fault. You can see here, electrical arc detected, check DC generator. And it's given a code 4301. So when it's doing this, it's usually the panels. I've had it happen before and it be the disconnect, but it trips immediately when it's a disconnect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go check the roof and see exactly what we can find and uh, get back to you. So we check the attic for any connections, any loose wire nuts, because it's not a uh, ground fault, so it wouldn't be touching any boxes or anything. It would just be an arc between connections. There were no bad connections in the attic, so we came on the roof and we checked all of these terminals. All these terminals are real tight. No arcs going on in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check every single panel connection, but always check connections done by installers first because they're usually the bad ones. Usually the panel connections are not, but uh, we're gonna get started on that right now. So what we found with the SMA arc fault is that one of our crimp heads were bad. So we're gonna have to recrimp this head and add a new MC4 connector. Now what you guys are gonna find most of the time with SMA arc faults is going to be bad crimp heads. Now when checking your SMA inverters, you always wanna check the crimps that were done by installers. Most factory crimps are usually good. So you just wanna go to the end of the positive and negative, the end of the uh, strings where the home runs are located, locate those two crimp heads for the positive and negative and check one for each string and replace any that are not good or might be loose.